Hi guys, today I will do a core two exam review on debt financing versus equity financing. So this is uh, when you approach a case where the company needs money, it needs capital, and it has to decide whether it should obtain money through uh, obtaining a loan through, a, let's say, a bank, or should it sell its shares um, and then obtain funding from an investor but the trade-off is they would have to give up uh, ownership interest. So this video will cover two phases. First, I'll go over the quantitative analysis, and I'll show you guys two methods on how to quantitatively uh, determine between debt financing versus equity financing. And then the second phase is a qualitative analysis where I summarized uh, some pros and cons of each method. Now, quantitative analysis phase, I'll go over two methods on how you can quantitatively determine whether to choose between debt financing versus equity financing. The first method is, does using debt have a lower WAC compared to equity financing? And then the second method is, will adding debt retain more profit for us? The scenario is, next year's expected revenues is $400. Uh, the, funding, the funding required we need is $300. Let's say the given long-term debt balance is 500, our given equity balance is 700, uh, our total value is 1,200 when we add those two together, our cost of debt is 10%, our cost of equity is 20%. So what I did was I added a, a add column where we can just plug in the 300 and then the column next to it is just a what if balance. So it will be like the current value add it to the empty cell that we created where we will plug in now $300. So this column is just like the total balance if we were to add the $300. Now we want to calculate WAC. If you guys want a review on how to calculate WAC, I've created a review video on it uh, prior. I'll provide you guys a link to that video in the description box below. But the formula for it is weight of debt multiplied with cost of debt add to weight of equity multiplied with cost of equity. Weight of debt is 500. We'll use the what if column divided by the total value of 1,200. The cost of equity is the $700 and the what if balance divided by the total value of 1,200 giving us 58%. And then our cost of debt is given at 10%. Our cost of equity is given at 20%. Uh, let's put this all together. So weight of debt multiplied with cost of debt, bracket, plus, bracket, our weight of equity multiplied with our cost of equity, bracket. So this currently gives us 16%. So let's add in that 300 if we were to put it in, if we were to obtain debt financing. So that increased to 18%. Let's delete the 300. Let's say we put in 300 through equity financing. That it, if we were to put 300 in equity financing, that gave us 21%. We had 18% for debt financing versus 21% for equity. Since debt financing uh, had the lower 18%, uh, quantitatively, it's better to choose the lower WAC, which is debt financing. Let's try using the second method. Will adding debt retain more profit? The scenario is to obtain funding of $300 from an investor. Uh, the ownership interest that we, have to, we would have to give up is 20%. Uh, let's calculate what our expected profit would be using debt financing versus equity financing. With debt financing, we'll obtain $300 from the bank for an interest rate of 10%. This will result in interest expense of $30. Our expected revenue for next year is $400. We'll subtract that interest expense of $30. This will give us an expected profit of $370. Let's say if we were to go through equity financing, our initial, let's say our initial ownership is at 100%. Uh, to obtain that $300, we would have to give up 20%. Therefore, our remaining ownership interest would be 80%. Uh, our expected revenue for next year is 400. 
And then if we multiply it with our remaining ownership interest, this will give us $320. The difference in our expected retaining profit between debt and equity is $370 versus $320. Um, this gave us a difference of $50. So if we were to use debt, we would have retained $50 more in, in expected profits. So then your next question is, would be, oh, Vu, I want to know the revenue amount that would shift my decision between debt financing versus equity financing. We can find that by using algebra and then putting on each side the what if scenario of, uh, let's say, equity financing versus debt financing. So the formula would be reven your expected revenues for next year uh, multiplied with your remaining ownership equal uh, revenues minus bracket um, the funding or the loan amount that you're planning to take out multiplied with your interest rate to get your interest expense. So basically your debt financing side is just revenues minus your interest expense. Let's put it into more friendly terms. R multiplied by 0 0.80 which is our remaining uh, ownership interest equal R minus bracket 300 times 0.10% interest rate bracket. Let's further simplify this by taking our R multiplied by 0 0.80 will give us 0 0.80 R and then on the right side uh, 300 multiplied with 0 0.10 will give us 30. So we have R minus negative 30 on the right. We can move the negative 30 over to the left turning it into a positive. We have a single R left therefore we're just going to take the 0 0.80 R over to the right, so 1R minus 0.80R will give us 0.20R. And then we want to isolate for R, therefore we can divide the left by 0.20 to get rid of it. So therefore, if we divide it 0.20 on the right, we also have to do it on the left. So 30 divided by 0.20 will isolate R. And then if we take 30 divided by 0 0.20, this will give us 150 for R. So the break-even point is at $150 revenue. If you're expecting to generate revenue equal or over this amount for this scenario, it is crucial that you rely on debt financing so that you will retain a substantial, the substantial amount of your profits. So in conclusion, uh, assuming expected revenues of $400 for next year, if you took a bank loan of $300 with 10% interest rate, your interest expense would be $30, leaving you with $370 in remaining profit. Had you used equity financing, uh, you would give up 20% of your ownership claim and you would only keep 80% of your future revenues. So this leaves you with a personal profit of $320 you would have retained $50 more if you went with uh, debt financing. Let's go over our qualitative analysis. I've summarized some pros and cons for you guys for each method. So with debt financing, the pro is obviously you retain control. You retain your ownership claim to the company. This will make it easier for you uh, for decision making and you will have higher claim to your profits. Uh, the second point is interest expense is tax deductible. With debt financing, you will have more uh, tax benefits compared to equity financing. The third point is payments are limited to interest in principal versus a percentage of profits. This means that you it's predictable. You know how much is going to outflow. You know how much you're going to pay versus equity financing, the investor will expect a percentage of your profits. So uh, if your profits are higher, they'll, they'll expect a higher return. If the profits are lower, who knows? Right? And then the fourth point is adding debt will lower a whack until a point. Adding, adding debt will generally, most often, uh, lower a whack, but that's something for you to calculate. For cons, uh, with debt financing, it's obviously more risky uh, because your payments are required uh, by a deadline. You, it's, it's, requir it's a required timely payments, right? 
and then sometimes when you take out a loan, assets are held as collateral. So if you fail to pay the loan, if you fail to pay your obligation, uh, you could lose that high-valued asset that was held as collateral. A scenario where you would use debt financing is when your cash flows are stable and predictable. You're expecting strong financial performance in the next year or in the foreseeable future. With equity financing, the pros, the first point is that it will strengthen your balance sheet because instead of having an additional loan on your liabilities section, increasing liabilities, we now have, uh, we have traded it for increasing equity. The second point is uh, having a new investor can bring in new ideas, can bring in their skills, their network, their connections. Uh, maybe they can add value to our company through their skill set. The third point is with equity financing, it's less risky. There's no required timely payments. Uh, our dividends are optional. And then for cons for equity uh, financing is that the first obvious one is we give up control. We give up a percentage of our ownership claim. Therefore, it means that we give up a percentage of our uh, future profits. Another con is that it takes time and energy to find the right investors. The scenario when you want to use equity financing is when the cash flows are cyclical or uncertain. So if our financial performance in the foreseeable future is uncertain or it has high risk, it's better to use equity financing because had we used, if we use debt financing, we might not have the cash flows within that period, enough cash, to pay the principal and the interest payments on that loan uh, on time and that could result in harmful consequences like uh, having our assets seized or additional fees and penalties. So thank you for watching guys. If you like this video, please uh, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, that will help uh, support the channel and help me uh, create more videos for you guys.